Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. I am financial planner, Canna Campbell. Three quick reminders before we jump into today's video, which is about manifesting March, the results are in. And that is number one, are you subscribed to this YouTube channel? If not, why not? Please make sure you do so right now and that notification bell is switched on. Number two, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Sugar Mama TV. And if you wanna see inside my crazy hectic world as I try and juggle things and sometimes lose it, Make sure you're following me at Canna Campbell Official. And number three, make sure that you're subscribed to my podcast. That's right. I have a podcast channel. It's only been about six months old, uh, but I get an insane amount of downloads and I share with you the most empowering, inspiring, educating, motivating, even sometimes tear jerking conversations and strategies and insights on my podcast channel, which is called Sugar Mama's Fireplay. And they are published every Monday morning so that you start your week off on a very powerful, motivated, informed and educated note. So make sure you are covering me on all three platforms. All right, today I wanna to talk to you about manifesting much. The results are in. If you don't know this already, every single year I do two financial challenges off the back of each other. Number one is Frugal February, and for the month of February, I am frugal. I am a tight ass. I like just live this very frugal, mean life and try and save up as much as possible. And this year I managed to save around about $750, which is a lot of money. And that money goes towards the $1,000 project and is invested in a growing passive income stream. This year, of course, I immediately followed by Manifesting March. And this is where I step into the polar opposite space of Frugal February. I open myself up to the abundance of money. I open myself up to the flow of money, the opportunities of earning extra money, creating extra money, manifesting extra money, hustling extra money, saving even extra money. And I step into a place of abundance because when you think about it, when you're being frugal, you can only save a certain amount. You can only go so far because you've got limited resources You can, and you're coming from a place of scarcity, um, limitation, and even deprivation. It's a really low vibration state. So I'm like flip it on its side and go, ha, I'm gonna now do the opposite. And I kind of like spring out of frugal February into manifesting March. And it, serious, if you watch any of my videos on YouTube, you'll see the crazy stuff that's happened to me during uh, manifesting March. And you step into this amazing high vibration state. Now, some of you may be going, what in the hell are you talking about right now, Kanna? But just bear with me because if you're open to it, you are open to experiencing the magic of manifesting March. And you can do this any time of the year. Now, you because you start to see all these little things happen, and I, I always have a thing of, of uh, abundance and gratitude. So if I find 10 cents in the street, I show equal acceptance, acknowledgement, and gratitude towards that 10 cents discovery as I would if I got booked for say a $100 market research job. Now, by no means am I sitting under a tree manifesting money. It doesn't, of course, it does work like that to a certain degree. I've also got to, got to get out there and hustle and apply for jobs and let people know I'm looking for extra money and trying to go through my wardrobe or my closets or my cupboards selling things. Like, of course, there are hardcore practical strategies and steps I need to take. I can't just like, um, money into my life. However, when you combine the um, stepping into a positive attitude and headspace and mindset, combined with those hardcore hustles and strategies, holy crap, incredible things happen. I definitely recommend you watch my videos because I talk about how I do this, but as a recap very, very quickly, I talk about money in a very positive way. I change my language, which I would do anyway, but I talk about money in a respectful, kind, grateful way. Secondly, I'm also really careful of other people's negative energy and self-talk. Energy is contagious, so if someone's bitching and moaning about how expensive life is or how they don't have, I can't afford this or that, I kind of, I still listen, but I just build a wall of protection so that their stuff or their negative energy bounces off me back onto them and hopefully they can see what they're doing and, and change their, become aware of it and change, make those changes themselves. So even if I'm, an, you know, I, can't, I want something and I can't afford it, I'm like, oh, I would love to have that. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that beautiful? You know, I wonder how I can earn enough money to be able to afford that. I step into a place of solutions and ideas and brainstorming, and it's it's incredible. The other thing is doing manifesting March, I let people know that I'm doing it. So I open myself up to the ideas and opportunities of earning extra money. And I've had friends come up with amazing ideas, you know, 
to help earn extra money. They've given me business opportunities. They've put me, connected me with people who are looking to employ people like me. Um, it's just a freaky, freaky space. But the results are in. How much should I manifest uh, this year from doing Manifesting March? Well, $1,416 to be precise. However, I've actually manifested a lot more because in doing this, I'm still actually waiting for money to be paid to me that's owed to me. I also have things that I haven't actually cashed in to, to utilize yet. So the reality of this is actually probably well over two and a half thousand um, dollars. I just don't want to count my chickens until they hatch, which is why I'm not giving you that full round number. But this is what I did for the month of March to open myself up to the flow of money. So number one, I went through my clothes and I went through any of the clothes that I was happy to, to get rid of and create that space in my life. Now, I know you're gonna say this is not rocket science, can I? But how many times do we have clothes we want to get rid of but we can't be bothered? I'd been, I had this pile that had been growing and I'd been sitting on it being lazy for quite some time. I used the excuse of Manifesting March to finally do it and I put it up on my Canna Campbell account and uh, eBay as well and even some stuff on Gumtree. So I actually hustled and got myself out there. Number two, market research. I checked all where all the different companies that I was enrolled in to do market research jobs and I went and tried to find more that I wasn't actually enrolled with. Now, I always get asked, who do I enroll with? I sh whenever I'm enrolled or I get booked for a market research job, I always post on my Instagram stories the company and say, market research job, go and register with this company. And literally, if you just Google market research company, um, uh, and the state or the area that you live in, you will find a whole pile of them. And because of COVID, a lot of them are now done online. So even if you don't live in a major city, so many of these are now done over Zoom. The third thing I did was uh, in New South Wales, the government announced these New South Wales dine and entertain vouchers. I jumped online using my service New South Wales app, and I'm sorry for people who are watching this who don't live in New South Wales and or don't live in Australia, but it was a government initiative that was brought out to help encourage people to get back into the, sh into the shops and the restaurants and the cafes and the parks and the cinemas. And if you're in New South Wales, definitely jump on, use your New South Wales app to get those vouchers. $100 per person, $200 per family. Fifth is dividends. I received some dividends during uh, Manifesting March. Now this is why it's so important that you're investing in two-dimensional assets. Assets are grown value, but more importantly, assets that provide you with an income stream, a passive income stream. I did not do any work at all to earn those dividends. That is my money working for me. And that is every time I have $1,000, I go and invest it for the $1,000 project. So if you're serious about manifesting March, make sure you're using your manifesting magic skills to allow the, 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 the magic continuously working on for you. If you love looking at money from a, an abundant, um, uh, even universal magical way, the way I like to think about money is it's like a waterfall, um, a particularly passive income, income is that water that's flowing into your life. It's just this continuous flow of money, just like a waterfall flows. And you can turn up the pressure of that waterfall if you like, if you want more money in your life. Number six was random savings. I had random things happen to me during uh, Manifesting March. Like the other day I was getting some sneakers for Tom for work and I actually managed to trigger a $50 gift voucher at Nike. I also had a really random $20 or $25 voucher at the Iconic. Uh, the Naked Source store, which is like zero waste food, um, the first Monday or Tuesday of every single month, I think is actually the first Monday of every single month, they have 20% off everything. So was, I got all these random savings that the universe just helped me out during the way. The seventh thing was frugal habits. My frugal habits that I picked up from doing Frugal February, I decided to pick and choose which ones worked for me, my value system and my time and apply them for manifesting March. Now, things like having coffees at home, taking my lunch to work, uh, doing my own pedicures, doing my own facials, all these little things, even if there was like a $5 saving, I still did it, especially taking snacks to work. That saved me a lot of money. And it really did add up. Ne you know, the thing about being abundant with money and manifesting much is you respect all savings, no matter how big or how small they are. The eighth thing that happened during manifesting March, and again, this is freaky because this was actually overdue, and that was my tax refund. Now, normally I get a decent tax refund. However, my accountant called me and said, you're not going to be getting a great refund this year, because all of your investments are cash flow positive, which is a good thing because it means my mindful money number is growing and bubbling away nicely. And initially I was like, oh, that's really annoying. I wanted to have like $1,000 or $2,000 to put in a $1,000 project. However, I quickly caught myself and went, no, 
this is manifesting March. This is about your mindset. So I'm grateful for the fact that I, number one, I don't owe money to the ATO. Number two, it's a good problem to have, you know, not paying tax because it means you're earning money. My investments are paying for themselves. They're working for themselves. I'm getting closer and closer to getting to my mindful money number. And in fact, my tax refund ended up being double what my accountant estimated it was. Nine cash rewards. Now these shop back um, websites where you earn money back on your own shopping is a great way of manifesting money because it doesn't, there's no real extra work involved. You just have to shop via the cash rewards or the shop back website or whoever you like to use. That's money that comes back to me tax free and goes towards a thousand dollar project. And the 10th thing that I realized and you know, from doing manifesting marches, whilst all these things happen during March, it's given me new skills, habits, and mindsets to apply throughout the rest of the year for the thousand dollar project. So in fact, my cash rewards account, as she still has a couple of hundred dollars that's still owing to me. So I can sit on that, keep building it and you know, take money out as it becomes available to be withdrawn. I'm still enrolled in all those market research jobs. So that hopefully those jobs will continue on flowing in. Make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can check out my stories and you know where to go and register. Of course, I'll continue on receiving dividends, more and more dividends, bigger and bigger dividends each time you know, there's a dividend announcement and every time I go and buy more shares and invest more shares. And of course, I'm still working through my wardrobe and still decluttering and culling and things like that. So I've actually still got a couple of things I can go and list on eBay um, this weekend to continue on with the flow of money. So if you're looking at doing this, I highly recommend be part of it. Just make sure that you're ready to do this. You're going to take it seriously and you're open to the flow of money. Now, if you want to do this, make sure you anything magical happens, it'll be frugal, it'll be a manifesting money um, story make sure you take a picture tag at sugar mama so I can share the magic and share the love and if you want to you can even take it one step further and use a sugar mama gif that's right you can have all these amazing magical gifts all over your Instagram stories if you like all right everyone I'm signing off but enjoy the rest of your week and particularly your weekend as it's Thursday and I will see you on Monday morning for sugar mama's fireplay podcast ciao for now